Greetings, my people. Turbo next year. This is going to be the most important video I've ever done on my Facebook page. Because it contains classified important information that people, not just in Jamaica, but mainly Jamaica around the world, most people, some people are aware of it, some don't. It is called organ harvesting. Those of whom, of us who are living abroad, may be a little bit more familiar. But for the Jamaican people, they don't, the, most of them will not know what it is. And because the culprits who are financing this heinous act against the Jamaican people, know this, they made it seem like it is an abduction and rape. But what draw my attention to do this is a girl, a body was sent to me, a picture of a body of a young girl in a building that was, her neck was cut and her throat and her, her chest area was bloodied. I could not see according to the body if her chest was cut. But the problem is her pants was on and she had her jeans pants on. It didn't look, nobody touched her pants. So may I say to myself, they don't rape this. That's what draw my attention. I tried twice on Facebook to go live with this. I put it up once when it was just a suspicion. And Facebook quickly take it down. I tried again. They would not let me connect live. So that's why I choose this route. Now, my people, organ harvesting is big money upon the black market. Now, Jamaican people enough to know this even though a, a Jamaican to carry out the act on their own people it is bigger than Jamaicans why because one human being is worth at least a million dollars dead so you're worth more a dead than being alive let me explain this one heart is about 200 to 300,000 US dollars. One liver can run anywhere from 300 to 500,000 dollars. Not to mention the kidneys and the other parts. Okay? The news out of Jamaica is that the police went in on a group of guys, got lead and went into a group of guys, killed one of the guys, and the rest begin to speak. It is a organized thing and it spread throughout Jamaica and that is why I was wondering why girls are being killed throughout Jamaica now why young girls is because they are more vulnerable vulnerable why young because their heart their organs are valued more right if you notice no old people no men no boys boys will put up a bigger fight than a girl would because girls are more naive they know that now so go back to this is not a is not even though it's the men from jamaica are doing this because they are paid to do it it is a it is an outsider work now if one person worth a million dollars dead no jamaican me know my jamaican people them it's gonna fun it and number one jamaican people ma majority of jamaican people are poor and they will not find that money now one person you know worth a million dollars dead it is an outside job it is a foreign country that is targeting jamaica because them see it as a third world country son of a bitches you understand me i hope you guys share this fast before them delete it and if them delete me i'm gonna post it again i'm gonna also send this video on whatsapp i am telling your people these killings are and i knew it 
that it is organ harvesting. Now, so my word to the people them in Jamaica. Young girls, stop work alone. People want to go out in groups. Fathers, go out, meet your daughters, meet your sons. Um, mothers, do the same. Community, come together. If there is anything suspicious going on that you know is not right, report it. Argon harvesting, it is not the end of it. Because these foreign people gonna keep on pouring the money into Jamaica because the, the, it is a big, big, big industry, not in Jamaica. It is elsewhere in the foreign country like Colombia, the US, and other countries. Now, let me get it straight and tell you now. Hear me? Go and Google this information. Go and look it up. So Jamaican people, if you don't think so because you don't get killed yet and you're not going to be a statistics one day, play stupid. Because when a man look at you, he sees a 500,000 or a million US dollars. So to you, he might smile and you think he's genuine. But all him see are some dollars. And let me tell you something, Marcus Garvey said when the man back is against the wall, he will do anything when desperation set in. Now, this kind of act will cause a man to kidnap his own picnic, his own family, and sell them. These things have been going on around the world for a while now. And people have been catching on to them. And not only that, the market increases. Now, let me tell you now. Who are buying these arts? You think, when, when these organs, you think, are, you, you, do you think it's poor people? Poor people can't buy art. They can't buy organs because they're not even in America. You understand me? It's big celebrities, doctors and lawyers and money people, um, pioneers who are funding these things. Because when a Hollywood man wants an organ that they claim is important to him, he will spend big money for a child to be killed to get that heart or that organ or that liver or that kidney. So me are telling the Jamaican people, who no wise up and unite, if you never unite before, now is the time to unite. Jamaica is a place of community. We bring back the community love and each one teach one and look out for the other. My brothers, if you see a sister coming home late from work one night, walk with her, protect her. See? I'm going to walk together in a group. I'm going to emphasize it again. Walk together in groups. If you to protect each other, virgin, I don't know how else to say to you. You have to protect each other. It is deadly. The police, this is bigger than the police, and the police cannot stop this right now. It's going to take a collaborative effort of the community to, to stop this okay do not rely on the government do not rely on the police alone on have to come together and protect on one another because this money is going to keep on pouring in jamaica until we come together okay so if the money still are coming a man see the money and him realize him can't catch no more young girls for kill him. I go start catching young boys. And when he can't catch young boys, he go and start catch anybody at all they can't catch because they're desperate for the money. For it is written that money is the root of all evil. Rastafari, the word of Jah is coming to pass. Money is the root of all evil. You can't kill as much of these guys as you want to. But they will keep com coming back because the money is there to fund this operation. US dollars are there, or England pound, or wherever. It is not Jamaican dollar. Jamaican dollar now have no value for, for, for do this thing. I want you know. Me a one, you know, take it from Turban X. Me a one, you know. I'm going to give a shit come here some official. I know official are going come in from this. You hear me? I'm not afraid of nobody. I'm going to talk. 
You see me? I want my people them wise up. This is crazy. My love you know, share that video you are fast. You know, go Google it fast. You know, go read up and teach mamas, papas, call on the children and make them know how important it is. It is not rape. It is not lovers quarrel. They are told to make it look like a rape because they want to confuse you guys and make you think, oh, then just rape that girl. No. Why would a man rape a girl and cut her head off, cut her hand off, cut her foot off, cut off her body, and, 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 no, virgin, them things they're not going. When, when a rape victim is being killed, she's killed to be silent, and, and when she's dead, the, 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 the culprit got walked gone because there's no evidence against him in the court. But he's not going to spend the time to take this person and cut her to pieces. Why King would have ask yourself these questions? Ask why. When something happened, don't just flare up and get mad. Start asking questions. Why? Okay, why? How this do? And the Jamaican, and the Jamaican people them, and police them down there, is really, this is really crazy. I wouldn't have seen this long time, Virgin, and I, I, I met the people them know this. Eh? I'm going to start put out billboards and put it on the TV so we walk together in a group and people, if you see anybody that is stranded, trust me, if it means you go and take one out on a way, if you take that person home, do it because you're going to save another life. Me love you, me give you the information, can't say me never tell you, love you, love you very much. Peace.